Hey, it's Don here. I wanted to address some of the issues related to some videos I put up and all the negative um, BS I got from another channel who tried to dog on me. Um, the problem with all this is that the other channels just don't seem to understand technology or how the internet works. I have an IT degree. I spent two years in college doing that. I actually have a master's as well. I went to Owens Community College and I studied network administration and database design and development. So I literally have a degree in doing exactly what eBay basically is. The technology that's out there works for every single site and I can guarantee you without a doubt that Adblocker will block those and I'm going to tell you why and how it works. It's not a glitch, it's just a fact of technology. Now we're going to relate eBay's main pages to a house just to give you a relationship. I'm not going to try and give you a whole bunch of technical knowledge or things like that. I know some of you will get it instantly, but I just don't want to, I want to make it for the broad audience here in my Patreon group. Now the main page where all your listings show up, the main listings, the actual listings on eBay and the page itself is basically the HTML part of it. It's the framework that holds everything else together. It's the basement of the house. It's the very bottom of this. It's what holds it all together, basically. And it's not movable. It's buried in the ground. It can't be undone. So that's why the house is a good example. Now, promoted listings are on the first floor of a house. It's another layer. It's sitting on top of the framework. It's extra. It's not built into the main structure of the web page itself. Now, the other listings that you see from other sites advertising their wares and things along that line, like for loans and all that stuff, that's sitting up on the second floor of a house. Again, I, I, I'm trying to explain it to you so it's a little easier for you to understand. So when you turn on an ad blocker, depending on your ad blocker, depending on the settings, depending on your web browser or even other factors, depending on what you're using, ad blocker may drop off and get rid of the first and second floor and just leave you the main framework with just the listings. Now, if you download it and it doesn't do it, it could be various other factors that won't do it. But I guarantee you, I'll show you how to get that to do it in five or 10 seconds. It's a common thing. Everybody does it because some ads on many other pages, they won't want there either. People downloading ad blocker want to block all of this stuff. And that's why it, it, it's used all the time. We're going to talk specifically about ad blocker plus because some other YouTubers posted videos showing that it doesn't block them. Now, they, they didn't show you other people who pointed out to them that it did block them on their page. So I'm going to show you why it blocked them. Again, this is not a glitch. These other YouTubers don't understand the technology behind it. They don't get how it's all broken down. They just don't understand it. It's, it's, it's proven. You can see it in just a minute here. I do know how it works. If they're going to tell you that they understand how it works, then they're missing the whole point because it works because it's technology and it's built into the site. eBay isn't using anything any different than anybody else is using. So eBay isn't doing anything that anybody else is doing. I personally never looked into it because I assumed after a few years in college that eBay had another way and didn't even think that you could block them. The entire time eBay has had promoted listings, people have been able to block them. This entire time, since day one, since they issued them because of the structure of the internet and the coding that's involved in it. So that's a big factor in here. So again, we'll show you in just a few moments here. But Adblocker Plus is the one I'm going to show you again because it's mentioned in the other videos and shown that they're telling you it doesn't work. I've got probably 60 plus comments on these videos from people who tell me the same thing that they don't see any sponsored listings with it on. So I, I'm 100% sure. Now, eBay's technical team 100% has to know that it does this. I took it in college and I knew you know, six, eight, ten years ago that this is something that would be done. It would be doable. Again, I didn't relate it to eBay. I didn't even think about it, but they should know it for sure. So if eBay's telling you that it can't do that, they are not being honest or the people who are telling you, I should say, maybe don't realize this. So the help desk doesn't understand it, but the technical department does. So, and I didn't even believe that it was possible. And uh, from a conversation with a person in my Facebook page, um, he proved to me that it was. So, and I left that post there. You can see that I doubted it from the start. It goes on for a while. We've conversed for a while. I've talked to him privately after this, you know, and the whole works. And I apologize to him because he was definitely right that this happened and I was wrong. The point of it is most of the ad blockers out there will block those if you want them to. Some of them, as I said, will download and do that. And there's also a browser called Brave, which will do it automatically the minute you install it also. So you just got to be careful on this. Now, some of these technologies were created by a gentleman who founded this Brave uh, browser. 
The same person created Mozilla and also invented JavaScript, which is why some of these post, and which is why it's built into his Brave browser. So he created the system that posts these. I took HTML in college. I spent months on it. I, I took CSS. I took JavaScript. Um, I took Java, I took C+, and I took Visual Basics as well in college. All four month or longer courses, you have to be able to do it. At the end of the day, you're, you're producing your own code to produce something that the teacher assigns to you. So you have to understand how it works to get through the classes. I aced them. I, I'm always on the honor roll. You can go to Toledo and you can look it up. There's commencement reports for it. You can see my graduation from UT as a bachelor's degree. You can see my master's degree as well. You can even see my master's thesis in the whole works. It's on their library system. It's encoded. I have an ISBN for it. So, you know, I, I have what I say I have. It's not fictitious. I know what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, the other YouTubers who have attacked me don't know that at all, apparently. They don't know how it works. So I'm, I'm going to set it straight. So we'll hop over there right now and I'm going to show you Adblocker Plus working, turning them off right off the bat. So we'll hop over there. So here we are. Unfortunately, I have a long crew outside, but um, we'll try to get through this real quickly here. This is the same page I showed you, same search result I showed you in the video from yesterday morning. And as you see, as other people have said that you can't block it with Adblock, here's Adblock. It says it's on. You still see the sponsored listing here. Well, that's not the whole picture. Again, some people will automatically download Adblocker Plus and it will block them. So now, there's other factors to this, depending on which ad blocker you're using, where you downloaded it, what your specific browser is. And this is all people are looking at and, and saying it doesn't block it. Well, there's one problem with that is if you click this one little tiny gear right here, what happens is you get this list up here. All you got to do is click this one single button right here, allow acceptable ads and it's going to be gone. We'll close it off here just so we can get back over to here. Now I'm going to reload the page and you're going to see what happens with this. This is again is Adblocker Plus. Give it a second here. It's going to pull them off in just a second here. Now I know this for fact because this is how the internet works and as you see it's gone and it's still the same Adblocker Plus that's on just like I said. Now you're going to have people come back and say, well, who's going to do that? Who's going to know that? Well, most people who look out for ad block are going to look how to block all of those pesky ads. And they're not going to be happy with the first layer. Again, this took out the second and the first floor. Now, if I click that button again, it will allow the first floor, but block the second floor. And again, the second floor are ads from off-site places and stuff, advertising loans and all that kind of stuff. First floor, again, is promoted listings, and there might be a few other things that are in there, but with that button checked, again, a simple five-second fix, they're all gone. There's no promoted listings on here at all. And again, some people will download it, and it will automatically be just like this. So it, there's so many other factors to this. So anybody trying to tell you that it's not going to block, it just doesn't understand how this works. They don't understand the layering of this. They don't understand CSS. JavaScript, PHP, or any of this, or even HTML for that matter, because if they did, they'd understand how this all works and be able to show you this. I'm showing you on and off just so you can see it for your own eyes. You doubt it, please go to your own PC, download Adblocker Plus, and click that one tiny little button and allow those. Turn that off, and you'll see they're all gone. It may download, and you may have them gone immediately as well. There are browsers that automatically download and have these options built into them, like Brave, which was created by the founder of Mozilla and the creator of JavaScript, which helps run the pages to do this. And that's why it's into his system. He flaunts it as one that removes all of this stuff. It's gaining ground right now, so it's something to think about. And as more and more people complain about these issues, more and more of these will be blocked. Now, I'm not going to get into semantics about how much percentage is blocked. I took my information from university studies. I didn't take them from some site doing some random survey that people have to click a button for a thousand people. There's millions of people that are on the net and I trust the college level surveys of these types of things. And theirs is around 40% or higher of laptop PC users. Another thing that I hear too from other YouTubers is that you can't block them on a phone. That is totally incorrect. I don't use... Uh, phone for much at all other than researching prices, so I don't mess with that at all. But I have a friend who came over and we blocked him on his phone in just a matter of moments, so I know it works on a phone too. I've also had people say most people buy their stuff from a phone. Well, it depends on what you're selling. Most of the stuff that I sell are going to older folks and they don't use a phone, so that's not the case for some people. It just depends on what you sell. 
So technically, it's not wrong that, that there's a large chunk of people that are buying off their phone, but it, it's not proportionally correct to what you sell. If you sell certain items, there are older folks, again, that don't purchase them off their phone, whether it be for vision reasons or whatever the case may be. That's a fact, 100%. So again, I'm basing these on factual studies. I went to college. I've got a master's. I had to do these studies, and I only use certain data. I won't use random sites or anything like that to, to back up my point. Um, I may not post all the information, but if you need it, it's there for you. So again, I'm going to show you this one more time here. We're going to open it back up. I'm going to hit the settings, and then I'm going to allow acceptable ads. We'll close this off because it's still on, and I'm going to reload the page one more time. It's just like turning ad blocker on and off. It's the same basic principle. And as you can already see, sponsored ads are already popping back up. So I know it works this way. I've known about this type of thing. I just didn't think eBay was using the same stuff. So that's why I can tell you for sure, if they're using technology that can be blocked, they're using what everybody else is using. So they've known about this since the creation of promoted listings. Again, I'm not trying to cause a stink. I don't like to be attacked for telling the truth by people who don't understand how things work. So again, this is the proof, the proof that these ad blockers do block promoted listings, your sponsored ad listings. I'll turn it off so you can see it one last time. Again, uh, there's no trick, there's no magic. Anybody wanting to block ads will probably do this again. They're not going to necessarily say, hey, let me try and block eBay ads. They're doing this to just block site ads for, for sites that they go to all the time. This works across the Internet on every site. So, again, one little button click here, a five seconds to block every promoted listing. In five seconds, I can defeat every listing that's promoted on eBay that quickly. So it'll take a second to remove it because ad blocker takes a second to kick in. So I'm not touching anything and it just will disappear as you see right here. So anyway, that's what I have on this. I want to set the, the, the end to this. I'm not going to discuss this again. I'm not going to get attacked again for speaking truth from people who don't understand how the internet or technology works. So Here's your proof. Do it yourself and spread the word that yes, it does work 100%. Adblocker Plus will block it. You see, there's there's no big trick here. I'm not going in and doing anything fancy or typing anything to block eBay or anything else. Many of these ad blockers already have this type of thing blocked, acceptable ads blocked. It, it's, it's just the way they're set up these days because more and more people hate them. Like whitelist uh, sites will block things coming in from specific sites. You can add to some of these lists. You can have your own whitelist and, and stuff like that too and block or include whoever you want. There's other options you can do also on your block additional tracking, block social media. Uh, this is just basic. Allowing acceptable ads, as I said, is already built into many of them instantly the minute you download it. Well, there you go. Hopefully that gave you an eye opener. Try it yourself. Go out, download this, turn on the application, and see how it works for yourself on your own laptop PC in front of your own eyes. It works on a phone as well. The same applications will block those on phones also. So don't say it's not on a phone because I've had the same people saying it's not on a phone before as well. It is. I don't use it on my phone because I don't use any of that stuff on my phone in the first place. I'm not a phone person really at all. But a friend of mine came over and we did it on his phone and instantly got rid of those same promoted listing ads. So it works. I, I can promise you. Same way it works right here that I just showed you. So anyway. And again, I do thank you all for your support here on Patreon. So again, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, just let me know. Back to regular content on the next video coming up this weekend for you. So have a good day.